Jesus' whole mission was about what? Think. About about salvation, about love, about making a difference in people's lives, right? About making a difference in people's lives. Jesus was a real person, not a statue. Jesus was a real person. He was born, he ate, he laughed, he loved and even died, always choosing new life. A new way of living with others. All we have to do is open up the Gospels and read any one of those Gospels and every person that Jesus encounters, he offers new possibilities. But his experience in life growing up was that there were a lot of people who were considered unclean and outside God's care by the religious leaders. And for some reason that just did not sit right with him. There was something in his heart as he was growing up where he understood, where he saw people that were cut off, people that were separated, people that were considered not right. There was something in him that resonated. We would say, it's the Spirit of God. From hindsight, we know it was the Spirit of God speaking to Jesus. But somehow he just couldn't buy into a God of wrath, a God of retribution, and a God of punishment. He couldn't buy that. So he, but he learned all about the law. He grew up in the temple. He went to temple school. He learned the rules about those who didn't follow the food rules, those who didn't clean their dishes as prescribed by the law, and subsequently were condemned or punished by God according to the religious leaders. He listened and he learned. He listened and he learned about the laws that said you could only walk so far and lift so much on the Sabbath. Even if somebody had fallen down, you couldn't pick them up. You weren't able to exert that energy. He even heard that what was wrong in creation as he looked out was seen as God's way. Sickness, poverty, death, blindness, lameness, deafness were all seen as coming from God. Coming from God's law which placed them outside of salvation. The sins of the Father visiting the sins of the children. And he saw all these people separated from wholeness, from salvation, from a full life, literally being cut off from God, the God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. Some were clean, some were not. Some were saved, others were not. So many of the people that Jesus grew up with knew the law. We know all the laws, don't we? We know all the rules. We know the letter of the law, and so did a lot of the religious leaders. All knew this letter of the law. But what they forgot was the inner sense of the law. The inner meaning of the law. The inner meaning of the law, they forgot about the love of God and love of neighbor. It's so easy. As Jesus says to honor him with our lips, it's so easy to come here on Saturday night or Sunday morning and, and do all kind of worship, all kind of ritual, but in the inner heart, in, inside of us here, something sometimes doesn't resonate past that front door. So easy to honor Jesus with our lips, and yet our hearts are far away from his way of life. It can be so far away from his way of life. It happens with me. Jesus tells us that God invites us. There's a constant invitation by God to invite us into God's culture or God's way of life. Where mercy and forgiveness come first. The true spirit of God in us is that feeling 
not only just a feeling, but also knowing, knowing that we are forgiven, knowing that we are loved, know us, knowing that we are always creating new possibilities for life, for ourselves and for others. God is love. And sometimes, as you see on the screen, it's hard to see that. It's hard to see that and remember that. In Jesus, God literally bends down from the heavens to share our world, our lives, our place. And Jesus is always saying to us, as he said to all those people, and we need to let this reverberate in our minds, you are forgiven, you are good, you are loved, and what do I, I want you to always remember? You are God's beloved. So today Jesus reminds us that we need to be doers of the world, word, as St. Paul tells us. Doers of the word and not mere hearers of the word. That's not going to do us any good. So this week we need to let our hearts guide us. We need to let our hearts guide us through our thoughts and our action. And somehow we need to share with someone, share with anyone, God's mercy, God's love, God's forgiveness. And invite them to see because of the way you live, because of the way we live, invite them to see what it means to live according to God's culture and God's way. We really can make a difference. And that's what Jesus tried to do in his life. God bless you.